Hello, my name is Mark Schuppmann Mueller. I'm the product manager for the Alexa LF at ARI, and I will talk a little bit about the workflow with the Alexa LF. Like the Alexa SXT and SXTW, this camera can record uncompressed, unencrypted ARI RAW or fast and efficient ProRes. Right now, you record both of those formats onto the SXR capture drives, which come in a one terabyte or a two terabyte version. And with the next software version, we should also be able to record the ProRes onto the SBS Pro Plus 256 gigabyte card. Now, this camera, like the previous cameras, also has the ARI look management. So you can create an ARI look file in pre-production. Then you can do live grading on the set and all your looks, the 3D lookup table as well as the CDL values, will get recorded in the metadata and automatically travel with the footage through post. That can lead to automated dailies, where the look gets automatically applied to the dailies, you don't have to do anything anymore, as well as to editing with looks. So the editor sees the same thing while editing that the director saw on the dailies that the DP saw on the set. And then in final grading, one can always look at that as a reference or even use it if so desired. Now let's talk a little bit about the recording resolutions. Um, we earlier talked about three sensor modes from the Alexa um, LF. There's LF open gate, LF 2.39-1, and LF 16 by 9. You can record each one of those in every RAW or ProRes in its native resolution. So LF open gate, that's 4.5K, every RAW or ProRes. Um, LF 239-1, also 4.5K, because it's the same width. And then LF 16 by 9 can be recorded in 3840 by 2160, that's 4K UHD. For the LF 16 by 9 sensor mode, there's an extra option where you can do an in-camera down-res either to 2K 16 by 9 or to HD 16 by 9, both in ProRes. For your workflow, we have a number of online tools available to support you on the set. And let me just go through all of those first. First, we have the Lens Illumination Guide. That is a tool that allows you to see what the lens illumination circle is for a given sensor mode. So you can go into the tool, you can choose which camera you want to look at, you can choose which lens you want to look at, you can choose the distance to the subject, the T-stop, because all of those affect the illumination circle, and then you actually see an image of the illumination circle for that sensor mode. That's very, very useful if you want to figure out which lenses do you actually want to test, which lenses cover the sensor mode that you desire for your show. We recently upgraded this tool. You can now import frame lines into this tool, which makes it even more useful. Where do those frame lines come from? They come from the Frameline Composer, another online tool that allows you to create frame lines in very, very high detail. Then you can download them to your computer, put them on an SD card, put the SD card in the camera, and then you have those frame lines right there on the camera. If the DIT needs to find out how many gigabytes of footage they will create with a given sensor mode, with a given camera, they can use the Formats and Data Rate Calculator, another online tool. And last but not least, we have the Alexa LF Simulator that is an online tool which simulates this whole display panel here, so you can get familiar with the user interface and all the menus of this camera in the comfort of your home. There are also three software apps that you can download to your computer. First is the ARI Color Tool. That allows you to create an ARI look file to be loaded into the camera. It also allows you to import lookup tables and export lookup tables from and to ARI look files. Then we have the ARI RAW Converter. It takes ARI RAW footage, you can view it, it's a viewer, and then you can convert this footage to other file formats. And the last tool we have is called the ARI Meta Extract. You can upload ARI RAW or ProRes footage into this tool, and it'll extract the metadata and output it as a separate file. Those are the ARI tools, but we're also distributing our image science as well as our metadata information to third parties so they can put it into their tools. And I'm very happy to say that almost all third-party workflow tools by now support the Alexa LF. So if you come into your post house and you say, I got an SXR capture drive full of ARI RAW, they know what to do. They can process it just like they processed the ARI RAW from the SXT camera or the previous cameras. And the last thing I want to talk about briefly are the lens metadata. With this camera, we're introducing a new lens metadata system called LDS2. You can see here on the LPL lens mount, there are four contacts for the LDS2 lens metadata. The signature primes can provide this information to the lens mount, which then communicates it to the camera. We're also licensing the LDS2 lens metadata to other lens and camera manufacturers, so you'll see other lenses and other cameras have this system. 
What's different about the system is that we have now absolute encoders in the lens. If you recall on the LDS-1, you put the lens on the camera and then you have to actually turn the rings in order for the camera to recognize that there is an LDS. With the LDS-2, you put the lens on the camera and the camera immediately knows the position of each of the three rings. Also, we have a much higher precision and a much higher data rate in LDS-2, so at high frames a second, we can still get very accurate lens data information. The whole thing is network capable, so we could theoretically have the lens talk to an adapter, the adapter talk to the camera, that's for future products, and it is compatible with the Cook slash I metadata system. Now for the older lenses, the PL mount lenses, we also have something, the PL to LPL adapter is fully capable of talking either LDS-1 or Cook slash I. These can be mounted either so the contacts are in the 12 o'clock position or so the contacts are in the 3 o'clock position. This adapter supports the LDS-1 lens data system as well as Cook slash I, and that pretty much covers all the lens data systems out there. That's it for the workflow, a brief recap. The Alexa LF can record every RAW and ProRes, currently onto SXR capture drives, and later also on SBS Pro Plus cards. You can record at native resolution, or you can have a down res to HD or 2K. And there's a full line of free online tools available from ARI, but we also provide information to third parties, so third-party tools also support this camera. And last, the system can record ARI LDS-1, ARI LDS-2, or Cook slash I. And that's it for the workflow session. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.